Yellowstone National Park is perhaps one of the most feared locations on our planet, due to the fact that it houses a massive supervolcano beneath it. Because of this, researchers are always carrying out research in the hopes of better understanding it. Recently, University of Utah's Robert Smith made an interesting discovery, saying that he noticed a change in the water levels at Yellowstone Lake. Whenever this changes, it's important that further tests are conducted. Geologist Dr. Robert Christensen then revealed the discovery during a documentary. He said the following, One of the most interesting additional pieces of data came along after the early fieldwork and the completion of the initial geologic studies. Bob Smith at the University of Utah was interested in seeing if we could look for signs of contemporary deformation in the Yellowstone caldera. He'd recognised some of these indications, particularly in changes in lake levels of different parts of Yellowstone Lake, and because it's so large, he felt there were indications that the lake basin itself was being tilted. Because of this, the lake level was rising at one end of the lake, and falling at the other end. End quote. Dr. Christensen explained how his colleague made the discovery, going on to say the following. He was interested in seeing whether we could actually measure this by some direct means. So one of the things I did at the time was to get funding together to get the USGS Topography Division involved. We felt that with as much as deformation as there appeared to be, that there should be measurable changes and elevations in the park. We finally got the funding together and got the survey done, and the data was provided to Bob Smith and his group and they in turn integrated it into a series of elevation changes throughout the caldera. They demonstrated that the caldera over a 50 year period of time had come up around two thirds of a metre. Even the magma was intruding the crust or was heating the hydrothermal system, causing it to expand and elevate the crust. Something was definitely going on. End quote. What many people aren't aware of is the world's volcanic activity has dramatically increased. Volcanoes from all around the world are erupting faster and more frequently than ever. On top of this, earthquakes are also on the rise. So why is this happening? As of right now, researchers have said there's no concrete answer, and that more studies need to be carried out. Data has shown us that in the 20th century alone there was over 3,500 volcanic eruptions. That works out as around 30 eruptions per year. As mentioned, earthquakes also on the rise. In 2018 alone, there was over 14,000 earthquakes recorded, and researchers and scientists have suggested the world could be preparing for some kind of world-changing tremor. If this does happen, it's said it will have the power to split up continents. Some have even come forward and said we're in the middle of a pole shift, and during this time the Earth's core is heating up causing oceans to heat up and causing volcanoes and earthquakes to release the built-up stress. There's also been a growing concern for Yellowstone. Researchers have said that if Yellowstone was to erupt, it would have massive consequences. Teams of scientists have found that after the eruption of a supervolcano, it's often been recorded that there tends to be a massive cooling event that occurs around the world. This is due to the fact that the ejection of a large amount of volcanic ash causes a global darkness event, preventing the planet from warming up and causing a global ice age. This appears to have also been the case a mere 100,000 years ago, when the Toba super eruption occurred and nearly drove humanity to extinction. Prior to this event, there was an estimated 1 million human population. After the event took place, there was only 11,000 humans left, of which caused a massive effect that allows us to see the time in which such an event took place. Additionally, this rapid death count occurred when the Toba super eruption caused a global blackout, and this lasted for more than 10 years. During this time, a massive ice age occurred, and an atmospheric cooling event that lasted for another 1,000 years. Given these calculations, it's expected that if the Yellowstone supervolcano were to erupt in the modern day, the amount of ash spewed would travel throughout the atmosphere and block out the sun from all around the world, leading to a modern day ice age that would prevent the sun from being seen for six to seven years, creating an endless darkness for all life on Earth, and record low temperatures never before recorded. 
Additionally, the Yellowstone supervolcano lies close to a number of sensitive fault lines all across the west coast. It's believed that this massive amount of pressure released in one moment, coupled with the massive amount of force generated via the super eruption, will create a domino effect of seismic activity that could lead to fault lines completely sliding in opposite directions, causing a number of massive earthquakes all across the west coast. The earthquakes would be some of the largest ever to have been recorded, and would only lead to further damage of roads, highways, cities and nearby constructions, completely blocking off those affected from reaching the help they would need. Another piece of news to come out of Yellowstone last year was that of a 50 seismic trackers picked up tremors. It's also known that the Yellowstone volcano is sitting on top of a hotspot, and this means that every so often magma starts to rise to the surface. Rather worryingly, scientists have said that should an earthquake occur, it would take less than two weeks before a catastrophic reaction is triggered. Researchers said if it did blow, it would be catastrophic. It appears that the eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano would be roughly 10,000 times larger than that of the eruption at Mount St. Helens. As of right now, teams of scientists and researchers have said they're keeping a close eye on the data, and that any updates they'll get, they'll release to the public. So what do you guys make of this recent announcement? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.